With Arc Ascended Scorched Earth releasing, there's been a lot of metas that have been made that are game-breaking in my opinion for the DLC. The DLC has broken the game beyond all recognition in my opinion, and here is yet another one a little bit of an alteration to the one that someone made by carrying a golem that was on a cart that was carried by an RG over a base. You know what? We're going to do something different in this one. We're going to place some C4 on some Jaboas, on, on some players, chuck them inside of a cart. You know what else we're going to do? We're going to carry that cart with an Argent Tavis and drop it on top of somebody's base. But there's more you can do with it as well. So we're going to test it out. We're going to try a few things and we're going to see what happens. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe hit a like button, maybe subscribe. First off, I was attempting to do it with the treasure chest. So I thought if you put a bunch of treasure chests in there and booby trapped them with C4, when that cart broke, treasure chests would explode and blow up the entire base. That was my thought process. However, when I threw it down there and the dinosaur died, the cart broke, it wasn't quite the outcome I expected. I thought it would explode. However, it didn't quite explode and it wasn't what I needed, so I had to think of a new strategy. If you think this is game breaking, we need to tell Wildcard because a lot of more bases on the outside are getting destroyed. And that new strategy was, I was gonna start putting dodos in there. Throw dodos in there, put C4 on those dodos and drop them all in there. But before that, I was gonna try and drop myself. And if you have five other people, you could do five people with rocket launchers inside of a box of a cart dropped onto a base like we're doing right here. And if you do that, once the box breaks and the card explodes, you come out on top of their base and you rocket launcher. And doing in doing so, that allows you to blow up part of their base. Five rockets on top of the base will do a massive amount of damage. And yes, I'd use GCM for this, but we'll do it without it. So if you line them all up, put them all in the back of your cart, you could do a paratrooper attempt. So this is what it's like when I dropped him from above and I was watching from above. However, we came up to a problem. Oh, I fell out of it. Where you'd get pushed out by the base. So we had to we had to come up with a different plan. And that plan was to put a chair in there. And if we were to put a chair inside the cart, you could sit on it. Once he lands on there, he jumps off and waits for the dinosaur to die. Once the dinosaur dies, the box is exposed, and then you can rocket launcher for your life away. This became game breaking. This became so game breaking that anybody that doesn't have the DLC, even in people with a DLC as well. If someone does this, which doesn't take much effort, takes a couple rocket launchers, it takes a bit of resources for the cart and get a couple of eggs, go for it. and you can go on top of somebody's base just like this. And that, in my opinion, is extremely scary. Because right now it's already bad with the golems and everything, but with you being able to jump out of a box and blow up the side of somebody's base with all your friends, that there is yeah. cool for concern. We should be worried about that. <laughs> oh, Shane! <laughs> the other thought process is to put C4 on, and most people use a, a glitch where you can put five C4 on one person if everyone does it at the same time. That means there's five C4 on five different people inside of a box on top of a base. If you did that, that means it's 25 C4 per drop on top of a base per drop that is annihilating anybody's base from above if you have jabowas ready after that as well then you can literally drop one after the other after the other and if you do that you have annihilated somebody's base within seconds this is extremely game breaking and in my opinion it needs to be patched because already people have lost their bases so fast just purely because of the golems and oasis or that there has broken the game any outside bases have become null and void and most bases in caves are just the only thing you do. So we strapped a bunch of dodos with C4 and we dropped it on the base. However, I wasn't a very good shot and I kind of missed it. But it still shows that even from back there, with all those 10 dodos with one C4 on it, it blew up the turret and destroyed part of the wall. So what would happen if you had more and more people put C4 on every dodo? You put 5 C4 on 10 dodos each? That's 50 C4 on top of somebody's base. That is like a nuclear bomb on top of somebody's base and it requires no effort whatsoever. That's scary and we should be worried about that because it took out the generator, the walls, the ceiling and the turrets. But we realized we use dodos 
and in using dodos i don't think they actually spawn on scorched earth so the other alteration is jaboas and they are so easy to tame you could get hundreds of them real quickly get that put c4 on it and get yourself a cart and some dinosaurs tame a bunch of doas put some decent saddles on it and chuck them in a box and if you do that my god it destroys things poor little cute fox things but there's one thing you have to do to be able to do this you can't do it while it's on the ground you have to be holding it in the air because if you try and place the jaboas in there while it's on the ground they'll fall out but while it's flying they don't fall out and they stay in there the entire fall down and then boom you blow the entire side of the base and it's gg bigger bases you could just drop one after the other after the other of 10 jaboas you could do three drops in a row three people up there you don't need anybody inside of those carts so you could drop three in a row it is absolutely game breaking and ridiculous and we had a little bit of fun at the end right so we decided hey what about a wall that we could walk up to a base maybe in caves or anywhere else we decided to make the old parasitherium trick on a cart the toehead would be a little bit too derpy for this and it was sending it everywhere you'd need a tame that wouldn't do that so much but he wasn't getting shot at all and he pushed it all the way up to the base and blew in it is so powerful it's kind of crazy this singular car has opened up so many game-breaking pvp abilities and techniques and metas that it needs to be patched and this is why i say when it comes to new dlcs you need pvp players to try and break your game i understand they want to have it as a pve game but you need i repeat it you need pvp players to try and break your game to try and raid in ways that you don't think and you don't even think about uh, i need a thylaco as we end this video let me know if you found any other game breaking dlc raiding techniques that are out there because i can tell you right now start of scorched earth has been a, the most scuffed start i've had in probably a lot of maps island wasn't even this bad the only thing that was wrong with the island was that there was cheaters everywhere and that's even happening right now when it comes to scorched earth there's speed wyverns speed argies even on a server wheel on some guys got a speed argy at the first day and they decided to go get themselves some wyvern eggs within seconds and and they started smelting them down doing so that allowed them to get a head start against everybody else allowed them to get wyverns allowed them to get an uh, oasis saw and it also allowed them to get golems really easily this made it so that they could raid every single outside base and wipe the entire server within a day that has broken the scorched earth pvp for everybody the servers have dropped down to minimalistic numbers and it is just disappointing i wish that they would just allow pvp players to try and tell them and let them know what they need to change for the pvp servers when they release it are they too stubborn let me know down below thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one